Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's Senior Stoner back at you. Hope everybody's doing okay. It's one of those days. I think I've come off the springboard, if that makes any sense. And it was really hyper. And I can't sit for a long time. I can't stand for a long time. I can't lay for a long time because I'm really uncomfortable still. A great deal of pain, unfortunately. I think it went the other way. I'm going to give it another couple of days but I think it went the other way. What I want to talk about is what cannabis and THC really do for us. What, what does a Jimmy Joint do for us? What, is, what does a Puffco Peak do for us? What do, what do these things do for us? Well, people give weed, marijuana, a really bad name. It's an entry-level drug, gateway drug, whatever it is, get you started, my God, never legalize it. But let me ask you something. How many people would prescribe an opiate, a tremendous amount of doctors would prescribe it, a tremendous amount of people would say, all right, doctor, because you take your car to the mechanic, you're not the mechanic, he's the mechanic. So you listen to what they have to say, and you trust their education, their background, their knowledge, but they and you at that point do not know the long-term effects of opiates on the body. I'm here to tell you, they're substantial, and you don't know what you've got until you stop the opiates. And then you're dealing with the most difficult situation. You're dealing with what your body really is. So, you know, just remember what this is. This helps people, help senior stoner, it helps people do that. It helps people deal with those things. In fact, there was a show on uh, either Weed Etiquette or Viceland that had a... Uh, detox center up in Maine that used high dosages of rosin, high dosages of uh, THC distillate, uh, and really help people get off heroin. Horrible, horrible situations that turned out positive because of this. So I want to talk about the fact and, and just not preach it, but I want to make sure people understand that we should view weed as a savior not as a detriment to our lives or a problem. The stigma should be gone. I have friends over the house all the time who don't smoke, and they understand very much. I wear the card around my neck, but it's kind of cute. I have a card, I put a card, card holder like you'd use at a meeting or something, and I put my uh, state license, my marijuana license in there. It's kind of cute. But cheers, everybody. I'm going to smoke this really, really well done Jimmy joint and thank you as I always do for watching but just remember this is here to help us don't let somebody talk you bad make you I mean I heard horrible stories that I think it might have been either Texas or another somebody wrote down to Texas or, or the state they were in that if you had concentrate like dab material you're going to go to prison or something. That's incredible. So, obviously, I'm on the side of legalization recreationally. And I hope it happens in my state. I participate medicinally. And I hope all you do, too. I hope all you uh, are able to relax and enjoy this in the privacy of your own home and feel comfortable doing it. That you're not violating anybody's rules and you're enjoying and trying to take a little of the edge off your life. This is better than the pill. You got to take the pill, take the pill along with this. Maybe you'll take less pills that way. That's what happened for me. Okay, I'm a walking and talking example of somebody who's using this to take less pills. All right, and that's what's important. Save your body. Okay and try to medicate yourself with this. Good luck, everybody. Have a great day. Senior Stoner. Thanks again for watching.